Thanks for joining me today at InvestorIdeas.com, Clean Tech and Climate Change Podcast, looking at today's problems and solutions for the future. I'm your host, Don Van Zandt, the founder of Investor Ideas, and this sector is a personal passion for me. Today, we're looking back at some of the big success stories in renewable energy and clean tech stocks in 2019, and how investors willing to bet on a green future realize some notable gains. To a lot of investors' surprise and delight, this was a great year for green stocks. Investors in 2019 could bet with their heart and still see some big wins financially. Although cannabis stocks were making all the headlines, this sector was making a lot of noise in the background. Starting with the best performing stock on the TSX this year, Ballard Power Systems trading on the NASDAQ and the TSX as BLDP delivered on its vision for fuel cell powered for a sustainable planet. The 52-week range on the TSX was a low of 325 and a high of 965. On December 17th, the company announced that eight Equicity tram buses built by Van Hool uh, on the website vanhool.be and powered by eight Ballard FC Velocity HD 100 kilowatt fuel cell modules have been inaugurated at a ceremony in Pau, France and are now in revenue services in Pau's bus rapid transit system. The company also announced on December 16th that they had receipt of a purchase order from Weechi Ballard High Energy Technologies Company Limited for membrane electrode assemblies valued at $19.2 million to be delivered in 2020 under a long-term MEA supply agreement. Millennials invested heavily in Tesla, trading on the NASDAQ TSLA, and got a Christmas gift as the stock broke $430. The 52-week range for the stock was a low of 176.99 and a high of 435.31. Wedbush analyst Daniel Ives recently raised his stock price target by $100 to $370, noting, Both U.S. consumer demand for Model 3 and, most importantly, European strength should likely drive upside this quarter and enable Tesla to comfortably hit its vehicle delivery guidance of 360,000 to 400,000 units for the 2019 fiscal year, which represents an increase of 45% to 65% year over year. Called the year of solar, 2019 gave investors glowing results, outperforming a lot of other sectors. Vivint Solar, trading on the NYSE VSLR, had a 52-week range of a low of 368 and a high of 982. In mid-December, the company announced it closed a $200 million revolving asset loan facility. The facility will help the company's continued growth in 2020 and beyond by allowing them to finance purchase of safe harbor equipment and receive attractive advance rates on projects throughout the development life cycle. They operate in 22 states and they've raised more than $4.9 billion in cash equity, tax equity and debt since inception in 2011. Jinko Solar, trading on the NYSE, had a 52-week range from 952 to 2484 and is currently trading between 22 and 23. On December 10th, the company announced it signed an agreement with Costco Shipping in Greece to use the Greek port of Piraeus as a distribution hub for the shipment of its renewable energy products in Europe and in particular for Greece, the Balkans and the EMEA region. Solar Edge Technologies trading on the NASDAQ SEDG has an investor playing field of from 3388 to 9669 for its 52 week range. Solar Edge says it has invented an intelligent inverter solution that has changed the way power is harvested and managed in a solar, solar voltaic system. The Solar Edge DC optimized inverter system maximizes power generation at the individual PV module level while still lowering the cost of energy produced by the solar PV system. Their third quarter highlights included record revenue of $410.6 million and record revenue from the solar products of $387.8 million. Enphase Energy trading on the NASDAQ ENPH, a global energy technology company and the world's leading supplier of solar microinverters, had a 52-week range of 456 to 3542 and is currently trading under 27. On December 19th, they announced that Solar LLC 
a commercial solar installation and green energy consulting firm based in Delaware, deploys their microinverters on commercial solar projects to precisely right-size systems for financial incentives and interconnection requirements, improve installation time, and issue production guarantees with confidence. Note all stock prices referenced here were at the close of December 27, 2019. If you would like to be a guest on this podcast and tell your story, please call me at 800-665-0411. You don't have to be part of a publicly traded company. It can be a private company, a nonprofit, anything, as long as you've got a great story to tell about making a difference in this planet. Thanks again, and hope you have a great day. To hear more podcasts, visit the Cleantech Podcast page at InvestorIdeas.com. You can find it in our top template or also our audio page. And a reminder, you can also hear our podcasts on Spotify, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher, Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, and Google Play Music, and most audio platforms that are available to you. To help you follow and track clean tech stocks and investor ideas has created directories of publicly traded companies in the sector. You can learn more about that at InvestorIdeas.com forward slash membership. Investor Idea also reminds all listeners to read our disclaimers and disclosures on InvestorIdeas.com website. And this podcast is not an endorsement to buy products or services or securities. Investors are always reminded all investment involves risk and possible loss of all investment. Thanks, and that's it for today. Have a great day, and do something good for our planet each and every day.